in uh, heat four, by the way, Susanna Kalla, champion from 10 years ago. So let's go through the lineup from the inside. Baseri Du of Greece is in two. Wimberger of Austria is in three. Kudlova, Czech Republic in four. Catania, Italy in five. Kolchek, Poland in six. Now she's certainly a contender here. Vesteland of Sweden in seven. And Kozak of Hungary in lane eight. Just the first two guaranteed a spot in the semi finals. Baseri do on the far side, the only athlete in 2016 who's broken the 13 second barrier. Well, a good break there from the pole. Kolchik, three of them left, and it's Kolchik who has the lead alongside Kudalova. Kolchik and Kudalova on the inside, Baseridou. And Baseridou moving clear here. It's Baseridou of Greece and Kolchik of Poland. Those are the two athletes who will go through to the semi-finals, and the clock has frozen inside 13 seconds. So I guess you would say, Stuart, if we hang the bar of uh, international respectability in hurdling, it is round about 13 seconds, isn't it? Yes, it is. 12.98, it's come up uh, as a qualifier by right for uh, Pazeridou. She did run, she ran very well in the second half of the race, really looked good. And uh, Kolchek at 13.06, and that was the third fastest time thus far. Just having a look at the replay there in the center of the picture almost going over the hurdle in the next lane it's a good job she didn't hit one all oh, there's the very very bad fall from Vesterland and uh, that's very unfortunate uh, really and all oh, that's in fact is the Swede it's Vesterland yet yeah, it was Vesterland of Sweden she really went down heavily there clipped that uh, hurdle and then couldn't quite get control and then it's a very very bad fall indeed what a shame but uh, Pesiri do won it quite comfortably in the end. And uh, 12.98 to 13.05. So that's uh, the second place was the third fastest time so far. But those two through by right, Pesiri do and uh, Kolacek. But, uh, let's hope that uh, Vestland uh, of Sweden is uh, OK. Well, there you see how erratic these wind readings are on the opening morning from minus 1.6. It's got, gone to plus 1.8, so it makes you wonder really how much you read into those numbers. But